Hi, this is Amy. I'm here tonight to show you how to make your own uh, aluminum wire cake topper. And unfortunately, for some reason, I can't seem to find a tape measure, but I'm just going to go ahead and get started and hope that the amount of wire I have actually works. All right, so I right now have a piece of um, 8 gauge aluminum wire like I did in my last video when I made the love word and I'm going to make the stem that will stick down into the cake. You want to have at least I would say three to four inches and again since I don't have a tape measure I'm kind of eyeballing this and just doing approximates. Now keep in mind too if it's too long it can always be cut off and hopefully you can see this because I'm I guess so with the wire it's kind of hard, but I made a little loop right here. So this will be the part that actually goes into the cake. And then I am going to take my needle nose pliers and pull up one side. And again, without me having, now my pliers here are marked for my, my wire hangers. So without me actually having a tape measure today, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I would say anywhere from four to six to eight inches, excuse me, four to six inches high is what you probably want your cake topper to be. Keeping in mind that typically the cake topper is about a six inch round. So you really don't want it to be too huge, but then you want it to be seen. So if you want, you know, again, judge it based on what you think will work, but I'm going to try to stay around probably about six inches. And again, for me, I'm just guesstimating it because I don't have the actual um, tape measure right now. So I just take my pliers, after I pull it up, just kind of bend it over. And then, if you want to make a little whimsical, you can come down this. You can either try to make them even if you want or you can come down here a little ways just to give it just some interest and then bend your wire back around so you have like the look like that and then what you're going to do is take your pliers come in from behind and then pull this wire piece over the top like that and you kind of have like a loop there that you can see and then I want to finish it off by giving it another loop up here towards the side of the A. And again, I'm doing this just to make it look, you just have some swirlies to it. Now you could also go down this way if you wanted to have your stem. You know, there's different ways to make the A. You can make it bigger, you can make it more rounded at the top, you know, spread it out a little bit if you want. There's really no rhyme or reason. Like I said, I, I just Typically, as many of you probably know by seeing my videos, I'm not a real precise person. And then what I'll do is just take a pair of uh, cutters, cut it off here, and then there you go. And you have a nice little letter to stick on the top of your cake top. And that's all you need to do. Like right, I so said, you don't have to go too deeply into the cake. Alright, so there you go. Uh, just let me know if you have any questions. Now you can do it, before I go, you can do it with actually a, the thinner wire, which is my 12 gauge wire. This one's a little bit differently made. Uh, more of the ballerina style font. This one is probably more like what I typically make on my hangers now, except I don't have this really on this end. But, like I said, there's different fonts. You know, all you have to do is just pull a font you like and go from there with it. The measure, you know, if you want to do anywhere between four to six inches for your cake topper. If you want to do a monogram, you would just have to create your letters so that they, either you can do individual ones and just have them lined up, or you can actually do them all in a row, but then you have to make sure that your wire will continue evenly um, to the next letter. All right, um, that's all there is for tonight. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks again for stopping by.